month. Welcome to your July 2019 reading. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. I hope you're all doing really well. If you do have any personal questions, then you will need a personal reading and you can visit my website katietarot.com and I will also put a link in the description box below. I would love to see you over on Instagram. I have started a page and I am doing daily draws, daily reads with inspiration, spirit messages coming through with beautiful cards. So I'd love to see you over there on Instagram. Okay, Leo, let's take a look at what is coming up in July for you. Let's take a look at your recent past to see where you are coming from leading into July. Let's take a look at this pile of cards first. And we have creation, the ace of wands, and we have an older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman. This is a feminine energy, an older feminine energy. It can be a male or a female. So this person is in your recent past and they may be around you currently. There's a strong sense here that you might have wanted to initiate something with this person, whether it be in your love life or in your uh, workplace or another area of life. And you may be getting creative with this person as well. So it seems to be like a partnership here and you may be initiating something together. There is a strong sense, a very strong sense of uh, creation here. We do have the Ace of Wands, which is that spark, that ignition um, of something new. So this is very exciting, I feel. There, there is a promising energy uh, with what you have been working on re recently, Leo. Let's take a look at where you are currently. We have protection. So you're protected from any kind of negativity. There's a sense here of divine protection. And also they're telling me that you have your barriers up. Okay, so if, it, if, you, if you need to have boundaries energetically or physically, then that's what you've, you've done. You, you are protecting yourself. And we have the two of pentacles and we have the tortoise and it says slowly but surely getting ahead so this is promising there is there may be a period of time where you feel like you're not getting anywhere because that often happens with this card but rest assured you are going to get to your goal it's just going to take some time now this tortoise may have come up because you are indecisive about something the two of pentacles can mean that you are trying to juggle things. You've got a lot of things on the go, perhaps, and you need to focus in on one thing instead of having several things that you're focusing on. And that's going to help increase the pace um, of where you're um, of where you're going. And so I feel these are generally very good cards for you, uh, Leo. I feel like. If there is a choice to be made and it, because it's pentacles this may be about finances it could be about work something very tangible possession something around the home perhaps so you have protection in your decision as well that's what I'm seeing so rest assured you're going to make the right choice if you are facing that at the moment or if you're facing a decision in July. Now let's take a look at what is coming up through the month of July for you. And we have passion. I feel this links in very strongly with the first set of cards here with the creative element, this ignition of something new, this brand new force that's come alive and is and is present in your life now. I feel that this passion is to do with that, whether it is a creative artistic pursuit, whether it is in the workplace, whether it's a project you're working on around the house or whether it's romantic or within a, a friendship, you know, you're just connected. That's the feeling I'm getting here, Leo. You're connected to this. 
So that's very exciting. And look at this, Leo. We have success here with the Six of Wands. Success, you have your troops rallied around you. There is, if there is um, a particular place that you need to go or be in July, then know that you will travel safe. There is also an energy here of victory and success. So I don't feel it's completely done and finalized. This card often symbolizes that you are well on your way to success or this is an upturn for the better for you. Okay, so there's that coming into play and I feel it is linked in very much with your creativity and your connection to this particular person or thing. And we have the vulture and we have depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you, worry that someone is against you. Okay. Now, if this is the case, Leo, if you are feeling that someone is against you, I'm going to draw your attention back here to this card and it says protection. Spirit wants you to know that you are protected. So even if drama does come up in July, I feel like you will have the ideas, the inspiration to know how to get through this without feeling depressed or anxious about it. I feel like you're going to be able to refocus on the positives, refocus on what can be said, what can be done. And if nothing can be said or done, then there's an acceptance and you're moving through that energy in a positive way. So I feel that this person is not going to stop you or is not going to be able to stop you from being successful this month. They're just not. You have so many positive signs here that you are traveling really well in your life this month or you have this energy around you to harness. So you can utilize this and you can be successful regardless of what this person says or does. So this is very powerful, Leo. They may be holding you up, okay? Maybe that's what this tortoise is about for some of you, Leo. Maybe that's what this decision is about. You know, are you seeing the truth of a situation here? Is this person making you feel disempowered? Is this particular person, has this person been on your mind? Is it this older male or female? Okay, so the situation is going to be different for everybody. But this energy is clearly coming up very strongly. So just know that you are going to be protected and you'll be able to move forward this month. And you will come up with the solutions that you need to deal with this situation or this person, Leo. Now the advice, let's take a look. And we have awareness. So there's a greater perception that's happening here, uh, Leo. And the, I'm getting two messages actually. The first one with the six of cups here is that you do have friends around you. You've got work colleagues, friends, family. You've got people that you are connected to that are ready to support you very quickly if needed. And I feel that does tie into the six of wands with the people rallied around you. So if you do need that support, then that is there for you if you seek it out, Leo. Now, the second energy that I was receiving from this card is that uh, this may be related to the connection that you have with this person that you feel is perhaps working against you and this person may be from your past or your deep past here so you've known them for a while and you're going to have a greater awareness about how to deal with this person about how to come up with um, solutions here how to reframe your mind or your position emotionally with this particular person. And we have the wreath, sorrow over a loss. Okay, I feel that this is related to 
this awareness that comes in Leo. So you're going to have an awakening, an awareness, a perception shift perhaps. And you're going to realize that there's going to be some kind of sorrow over recognition of a loss. Okay, so that's going to come up. You need to work through this energy and I feel you will very effectively. But I feel that's necessary. This is very necessary to move on, to have a better connection with this person or with others in the future, to, to reaffirm a relationship or a friendship. You need to grieve a bit. You need to have a stronger awareness, a higher perception about something. So that's interesting. That's very interesting. I feel you will work through those energies very effectively. And I feel that it's going to come from this creative place. Inspiration from spirit is definitely there, Leo. And this connection from the past, I feel is something you're going to be working on or this connection you have with a friend, loved one. Very important, very important to work through what's going on here. To help you be successful, to help you have or to see the potential here uh, to go forward in your life in a positive way. So, so very interesting messages, Leo. I hope you have a wonderful month ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.